Hello and welcome back to Memory at Lightning Speed with a permanent memory spare and power recall. Memory course two, session 30, the best kept secret. In ancient Greece, the poet Simonides mentally reconstructed a layout of a building that collapsed during a banquet. He was the only survivor and it was up to him to identify the bodies. We know for certain that a memory system based on structural layouts was used in ancient Rome. It seems that students were taught how to learn before they were instructed about what to learn. Cicero, the great orator, is believed to have made use of the technique to address the Senate in Rome for days on end from memory. The principle is simple. You remember information by locating images around a mental layout that you already know. The system you're about to learn makes use of this strong link between memory and location. For example, walks, journeys, buildings. The route system. The English pronunciation is root, but I say route. Step one. Pick a building you know well. This technique also works well when you use walks, uh, car journeys, or even golf courses. But the easiest is to start with a simple building, your home, where you work, or perhaps a hotel or a college you visit regularly. Step two, divide this building into 10 separate areas. They could be rooms, particular features, or, or whole floors. Just however you think the building can best be divided into 10 zones. Step three, decide on a route from area one to area 10. It's important that you're sure of the route because you'll always take the same mental walk around the building. What would be the most logical way of getting from the first area to the last? Step four, close your eyes and imagine moving along the route. Start by picturing yourself standing in area one. What can you see? What, can, what does the place smell like or sound like? And what details set it apart? From there, visualize yourself moving to area two. Again, bring this zone to life in your mind's eye. Keep this going. Go, keep going from place to place. Um, a few moments, stay in each place a few moments until you arrive at the end of the route. Step five, as a final check, see if you can imagine the doing the journey in reverse. This shouldn't be a problem at all. In real life, you have no difficulty remembering um, your way out of your house or getting back home from work. It's just a good way of making sure that you're fully confident with this memory route. When you completed these five steps, you're ready to put the route to use. It's been time well spent. You'll be able to use this mental structure many times to help you remember many different types of information. Use the user route, you simply um, locate different pieces of imagery in each of these 10 areas. These are exactly the same sort of image clues used to remember words, names, ideas, numbers. The route system just removes the, the need for a story to link them together. Instead, the connecting structure is already decided upon. All you have to do is slot in the images, use your imagination to fix each image in place as powerfully as possible. As you make the mental journey around this building, think of unusual, funny, violent, memorable ways of placing an image into each room. As an example, here's a sample route uh, around a typical British house. Number one, front porch. 
two, hallway, three, living room, four, dining room, five, kitchen, six, sunroom, seven, staircase, eight, bathroom, uh, nine, bedroom, 10, study. You could check out my transcript on YouTube and also read the subtitles. And I look forward to seeing you in the next session. Thank you for watching and listening. If you like the video, share it with others as you see fit. Now join my library. There are more than 240 videos for you to watch and learn from. I see you in the course. Next click on video 57U. It's for you. Watch now and learn more. See you there. Ciao for now. Later.